and welcome to Coffee in My Kitchen. So today I thought I'd share with you how to use your Nespresso Virtuo. This is the Nespresso Virtuo. These are some of the selection of coffees you can get. They're all various blends and various sizes. Ultimately they're all black coffees but you're getting different blends. For example, a Fortado. They're different blends and different strengths. A Fortado is 150 ml and it's strength eight. So it's quite a strong coffee. Now, 150 ml is gonna be this size. You've got 150 ml, 180 ml, which is even bigger, and a double espresso, which is 80 ml. So they, these are your capsules and these are the different sizes. And a single espresso will be a smaller capsule than this. These are the Virtuos. So, all your coffees, black, different blends, different strengths. It's up to you to decide what you kind of fancy. My favorite is the vanilla custard pie. It's a black coffee, but it's got a subtle, and I mean subtle vanilla hint to it. There's cookie caramel. You've got Al Florazio, which is more of a floral, um, light coffee. You've got your double espresso chiara, which is quite a rich, double espresso, and if you want an Americano, you would make the double espresso and just top up with hot water. You've got a Bianco Ligaro. Again, it's an espresso, but it's the perfect capsule to make a cappuccino with. The, the blend is more of a milkier, creamier taste. To make a cappuccino, you make a black coffee and you top up with frothy milk. Now, if you want frothy milk, your best bet is to get an Arachino, which is one of these. And what this does is it just gives you that coffee shop frothy milk. You can use, you know, a handheld um, mixing whisk, you know, not the cake one, but the battery one, any sort of whisker. But what's nice is this heats up your milk. The problem I had was my milk, you put the milk in and your coffee was cold. So this keeps your milk hot and frothed. It also has a cool setting if you want to make iced coffees. So, right. To start off, I'm going to bring you closer so you can have a closer look how I switch on the machine. You've got your water canister at the back here, which you keep filled up with filtered water. And this is the machine. They have various different machines which have different capsules. This is the Virtuo. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the button on top and it's going to blink green. When that green rim is steady, that means it's ready to use. So we're just going to wait to see. When that's steady. steady, it means the coffee is hot and ready to go. You just want to tap the lever so it opens and pop your chosen capsule in. I'm going for my vanilla um, custard one. You want to pop your glass underneath and start the button. One press. And there you will have your coffee coming out. And you will see you get a lovely crema forming on top. That's not milk, that's not anything dairy, that's just the way the coffee machine pumps out the coffee. So you're getting a professional finish. So there you have a 230 ml size coffee which is a big mug for. Now you can either add your milk, I like to use Oatly, or you can add coffee mate. Use your Arancina, get your milk, pour it in, put the lid on, pop it on its little stand, press the button, and this will start to froth up your milk. On off, take it off the frother, lid as you can see it's a frothy milk and then pour on your froth and that's your milk give it a stir and there you go your coffee machine will turn off by itself. And that is how you make a perfect cup of coffee with your Nespresso Virtue machine. Cheers.
perfection. I hope you enjoy your machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Any more questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Bye.